from Tampa Bay streaming news leader. This is ABC Action News. I'm Heather Lee and here are your ABC Action News headlines. A Polk County road is one step closer to getting some needed safety upgrades after several deadly crashes. An advisory committee asked the county to dedicate about a million dollars for new sidewalks along First Street Northwest in Kathleen. That stretch of road runs near Kathleen Elementary School and Kathleen Middle School. Late last year, it was the site of two wrecks where pedestrians died. The final decision on those sidewalks goes on to the Polk County Board of County Commissioners. They need to approve the budget request first. Florida's annual python hunt challenge is now underway. It helps control the population of the invasive Burmese python in the Florida Everglades. Hunters who catch the most and biggest pythons win big prizes. They include $2,500 for the most pythons caught and $1,500 for the longest python. Florida's first lady says she'll be out there hunting for pythons. It is our commitment that we want to ensure that we leave Florida better to our children and better to God than we found it. So I'm excited to go out, hunt up some pythons, literally hope to catch a python, not going to be using my hands. The 10 day event runs in through Sunday, August 14th. Walkers and cyclists can now use a new segment of the Pinellas County Duke Energy Trail Loop. The north segment of the trail is now open. It stretches 6.7 miles from Clearwater to Palm Harbor. The trail will eventually circle the county. Now let's check in with Lydia Vasquez for a look at your forecast. Well, happy Saturday. We have another hot and humid day uh, today. We're expecting temperatures in the mid 90s. Tampa could get up to 95 degrees. Plant City 95 as well. 93 in Zephyr Hills for the high in Clearwater. 92 degrees today. The day planner. We're starting off this Saturday. Mostly sunny conditions this morning. Those rain chances and thunderstorms will appear on the coastal areas around at 2 o'clock. Scattered thunderstorms definitely uh, making its way in our area around at 3 and it'll continue to move uh, inland to the coast as we head into the uh, later evening. Again, that east to west flow starting off around 2 o'clock. Those inland Zephyr Hills, Lakeland areas. We'll see that and then coastal areas will get a lot of that downpour, lightning and thunderstorms around 4 o'clock today. Heather. All right, Lydia, thank you. Well, we're always on when you need us. Make sure to add ABC Action News Plus to your favorite streaming device. We'll see you there all morning long.